Rubber plants are known to have large dark green leaves, but there are also many varieties of color. It's better to start growing them when they are young as they can adjust better to ender life. They can tolerate low light and humidity. Prefers lots of bright light, but direct sunlight can cause leaf burn. Plants that do not receive enough light will suffer from leaves falling off. Variegated plants require more light, as low light will cause leaves to revert to green. Water once every one or two weeks, letting the topsoil become dry between watering. Increase the rate if the plant is in bright light and during warmer months. Twice a month might be enough in winter. Keep an eye out for droopy leaves indicating that it needs watering. Overwatering is the biggest problem for rubber plants and will make the leaves become yellow or brown and start falling off. They're also affected by underwatering as they are not drought tolerant. They are not that picky about humidity levels. Average room humidity is sufficient. Miss the leaves if the air is dry, particularly in winter. Her first temperature ranges between 60 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit, tolerating low temperatures of 50. It's best to avoid temperature drops below that as growth will be affected. Unlike their roots being waterlogged, it's important to use a well-draining soil similar to what cacti prefers. Top off soil when the roots become exposed after some time due to the plant extracting nutrients from the soil. This plant can irritate the eyes, skin, and is poisonous if ingested. The plant prefers to be root-bound, and it's best not to put rubber plants in larger pots. About an inch bigger than the old pot is always a good rule to follow in reporting. They can grow quickly in good conditions and have to be reported annually until the plant reaches the desired height. Big plants are difficult to repot, so if your plant is too heavy to move, simply top off the pot with fresh soil. Rubber plants are usually propagated from cuttings, but it might take several tries to succeed. Cut off a suitable branch, wait for the sap to become dry and a callus to form, and then insert in soil and wait for roots to take. Rubber plant is considered a hardy houseplant, but there are a few requirements needed. Having sufficient light, moist but not waterlogged soil, sufficiently diluted fertilizer to keep it thriving in the warmer months, and regular misting to keep the leaves clean but making sure leaves dry properly. In addition to this, a wooden stake is needed to support the plant as it grows tall. Remove dead or faded leaves to boost new growth. Don't need to be pruned unless you want to shape it. Wait for the plant to reach the desired height before pruning off the top growth. The plant will start branching out and you can begin to prune into the shape you like. While it's normally a very undemanding and disease-resistant plant, it can still be attacked by pests such as scale, mites, aphids, and mealybugs. Treat infestation as soon as they appear with regular spraying of the leaves thoroughly with organic neem oil. Color fading from leaves is a sign of insufficient light. Move the plant to another location. Rubber plants are most prone to diseases linked with overwatering, which also causes leaf drop, while underwatering will make the leaves curl inward.